Good evening. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. I'm Marie Claire. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Decree 28 for the year 2016, appointing Asma Jasim Murad as Assistant Undersecretary for Sanitary Affairs at the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in Egypt on a visit at the invitation of Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi. During the visit, His Majesty the King and the Egyptian President will hold talks on the close and historic bilateral relations linking the two countries in various fields and ways of bolstering them further, as well as recent regional Arab and international developments and other issues of common concern. His Majesty was received by the Egyptian President, the Egyptian Minister of Petroleum and Mineral Resources, Tarek Al Mullah, Bahrain's Ambassador to Egypt, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, and other senior officials. Following a short break at the VIP lounge, His Majesty the King and the Egyptian President proceeded in an official motorcade to Al Etihadiya Palace, where an official ceremony was held for His Majesty. In an arrival statement, His Majesty the King expressed pleasure at visiting Egypt at the invitation of the President al-Sisi, saying that the visit reflects the close and deep-rooted relations linking the two countries. He added that the visit also provides an opportunity to continue consultation between the two leaders. His Majesty the King said that Egypt enjoys a special status and admiration by Bahrain, citing its remarkable stances in support of Arab nations and its support to Bahrain's development, which dates back several years and has covered several areas, including the education and judicial fields. His Majesty reiterated Bahrain's support to Egypt's stability and to the efforts of President al-Sisi and his government to meet the aspirations of the people of Egypt. He also voiced trust that he, together with President al-Sisi, will take additional steps towards strengthening the relations between the two countries and upgrade cooperation between them in various fields to the highest levels, as well as serving the interests of the region and strengthening security and peace. Concluding his statement, His Majesty the King wished Egypt and all Arab and Islamic countries continued security and stability and further development and prosperity. Earlier today, His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa left Bahrain for Egypt at the invitation of Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi for talks on close and historic bilateral relations linking the two countries in various fields, as well as regional, Arab, and international developments. His Majesty is accompanied by a delegation comprising of Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa. Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Royal Court Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, President of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hamad bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, Advisor to His Majesty the King for Economic Affairs Dr. Hassan bin Abdullah Al Fakro, Advisor to His Majesty the King for Sports and Youth Affairs Salah bin Isa bin Hindi, Advisor to His Majesty the King for Media Affairs, Nabil bin Yaqub al Hamar. Follow up Minister at the Royal Court, Sheikh Ahmed bin Atiyatollah al Khalifa. Justice Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali al Abdullah al Khalifa. Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, Rashid bin Mohammed al Maraj. Industry, Commerce and Tourism Minister, Zayed bin Rashid al Zayani. Special Envoy at the Royal Court, Samira bint Ibrahim bin Rajab. Information Affairs Minister, Ali bin Mohammed al Rumehi. Chief of Staff of the Bahrain Defence Force, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sakar al Naimi. Royal Protocols Chief, Major General Khalifa bin Ahmed al Fadla. His Majesty the King's Personal Secretary, Hamad bin Ali al Qabi. Head of the Royal Follow up Affairs, Air Vice Marshal Mohammed Bou Hussein Al Musallam, Bahraini Ambassador to Egypt Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa hailed the fruitful results of the Joint Higher Committee between Bahrain and Egypt, which resulted in approving a number of agreements and MOUs in various fields. Addressing the opening session of the committee meeting, which was held in Cairo, and co-chaired by Sheikh Khalid 
and the Egyptian Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, affirmed the deep-rooted Bahraini-Egyptian relations and hailed the two countries' keenness to broaden areas of cooperation. He added that the joint higher committee session discussed means of enhancing coordination and unifying stances against Iran's interference in the GCC's domestic affairs and combating terrorism. For his part, the Egyptian foreign minister hailed the brotherly consolidated ties between Bahrain and Egypt and recalled His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa al Khalifa's visit to Egypt as he was the first GCC leader to visit Egypt after the Egyptian revolution in 2013. Minister of Information Affairs Ali al Rumehi visited two press agencies in Egypt, praising the historic bilateral relations and brotherly stances. He stressed the need for stronger unity to maintain regional and international security and stability and combat terrorism. Mr. al Rumehi hailed the role of Egypt's media in protecting Arab issues, their keenness to maintain Arab and Gulf security, and rejecting interference from Iran. He also discussed ways to enhance media exchange expertise and enhance coordination between the two countries in order to defend Arab nation issues and face all attempts aimed at threatening security and stability. The information minister lauded the outcomes of the Bahraini Egypt summit which provides opportunities to strengthen commercial trade, tourism and investment and enhance cooperation between the two countries in different fields. Minister of Information Affairs Ali al Rumehi hailed a dinner banquet in Cairo yesterday in honour of Bahraini and Egyptian editors and media figures. Mr. al Rumehi highlighted the historical stances of Egypt and their role in protecting Arab and Islamic issues. He hailed brotherly bilateral relations on various levels and the strategic partnership between the two countries, referring to the sixth Bahraini Egypt summit as a reflection of the strong deep rooted relations between both countries. Al Rumehi then discussed with the audience topics of common interest. Bahrain and Egypt enjoy a strong bond that goes back many years. The continuous visits between both sides come to reinforce those bilateral relations in various fields. More details on the nation's joint political stance in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain and the Arab Republic of Egypt enjoy long-standing relations of friendship that have been exemplary in various fields. The two nations' leadership and people have always been keen to further promote such strong bonds in the name of wider regional unity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was the first Arab leader to visit Egypt following the 2013 regime change which saw President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi assume power in a testament to the kingdom's support for the Egyptian people's choice and their free will in implementing the roadmap for their future. The continuous visits by both sides attest to the strong political bond between the two nations. On the political front, both nations have supported each other in various pressing issues that affect the regional bloc and global arena. Both countries hold similar views on issues ranging from the elimination of weapons of mass destruction, ending the Israeli occupation of Arab territories, establishing an independent Palestinian state, and protecting the sovereignty and independence of Iraq. Egypt has also been supportive towards the maintaining of the kingdom's security and stability, denouncing and rejecting any foreign interference in its internal affairs. Bahrain, on the other hand, has also backed Egypt in its war on terrorism in all its forms. In 2015, our military ties also witnessed a significant boost as the Egyptian and Bahraini armed forces conducted the first large-scale air maritime joint military exercise in the name of fortifying combat readiness to protect Arab national security. His Majesty's current visit represents a further step in the deep-rooted relations of mutual respect and understanding and remains an evidence of His Majesty's keenness to cement these strong ties in the name of boosting stability and achieving sustainable development. Egypt remains a vital partner and component of our regional entity. Its contributions to Bahrain's development stem back to the early 20th century with the launch of our educational march in 1919 and the role of the Egyptian community in the kingdom remains evident to this day. And His Majesty conducts yet another visit to our friends in Egypt as we reinforce our strong and deep-rooted bonds between our governments and people. Mohamed Shaban, Bahrain Television News. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa welcomed His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco, who arrived in Bahrain yesterday, accompanied by His Royal Highness Prince Maulay Rashid. 
Also present to welcome His Majesty the Moroccan Monarch was His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. After a brief stay in the VIP lounge at Bahrain International Airport, the motorcade of His Majesty the King and the Moroccan monarch proceeded to Sikhir Palace, where an official ceremony and reception were held.
الشرف سلام المملكة المغربية وسلام مملكة البحرين سلام السرب جاز التفتيش سيد Later, His Majesty the King and the Moroccan monarch held a round of official talks. In the presence of the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King welcomed His Majesty King Mohammed VI visit to Bahrain, which reflects the deep-rooted ties between the two brotherly countries and the keenness of continuing consultations and cooperation to serve the common interests. The two sides reviewed the prospects of enhancing historic fraternal relations for the benefit of the two brotherly peoples. Their Majesties underlined the outstanding close historic ties between the two countries and stressed their keenness to develop these relations towards a fruitful and constructive cooperation to fulfill the hopes and aspirations of their people for further progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King also underlined Bahrain's support for the unity of the Moroccan territory, as well as its support to the efforts of Morocco to resolve the conflict in Western Sahara. 
Their Majesties welcomed the positive outcome of the Gulf Moroccan summit held in Riyadh last week, stressing the depth of Gulf Moroccan relations that will strengthen the bonds of brotherhood and mutual cooperation between the two sides. His Majesty the King hailed the efforts of His Majesty the King of Morocco to support the Palestinian people's rights through his presidency of the Jerusalem Committee of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. They also discussed the developments in Palestine, Syria, Iraq, Yemen and Libya. The two leaders emphasized the need for concerted Arab and international efforts to combat the phenomenon of terrorism that threatens the security and stability of states, as well as international peace and security. Their Majesties condemned Iranian interventions that undermine security and stability in Bahrain and other GCC and Arab countries, its interference in the internal affairs of these countries and its support of terrorism, which is unanimously condemned by the Gulf Cooperation Council and both the Arab League and the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. They also stress the need to develop cooperation in the field of Islamic endowments, religious institutes and judicial cooperation between the two countries, in addition to cooperation in the fields of education and academic programs. His Majesty King Mohammed VI expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for the warm reception and generous hospitality and the keenness and interest of His Majesty to establish the best relations with the Kingdom of Morocco, praising the close and outstanding relations between the two countries and their cooperation at all levels. In the presence of His Majesty the King and His Majesty the Moroccan King, two protocols and executive programs for cooperation between the two kingdoms were signed. The Minister of Finance, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the Moroccan Minister of Economy and Finance, Mohammed Boussaid, signed the amendment to the agreement between the government of Bahrain and the government of Morocco for the avoidance of double taxation and the prevention of tax evasion, with respect to taxes on income protocols signed on the 7th of April 2000. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Moroccan Minister of Endowments and Islamic Affairs, Ahmed Al Tawfiq, signed an executive program of the cooperation agreement in the field of endowment and Islamic affairs for the years 2016 to 2018. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments and the Minister of Justice and Liberties in Morocco, Mustafa Ramid, also signed a protocol of cooperation between the Institute for Judicial and Legal Studies in Bahrain and the Higher Judicial Institute in Morocco.
His Majesty the King later hosted a dinner in honour of the Moroccan monarch and his accompanying delegation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, inaugurated today the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Centre, the Gulf Bid Annual Expo for Construction, the Gulf Property Show 2016 and Gulf Interiors Exhibition, organised by Al Hilal Conference and Exhibitions. His Royal Highness said the Kingdom's construction, development and economic growth reflect the national economy's ability to overcome all challenges and affirmed the government's keenness to achieve sustainable development in order to bring the best for the Kingdom and its citizens. He urged investors to launch their projects in the Kingdom and to benefit from Bahrain's investment atmosphere. His Royal Highness then toured the Expo's pavilions and sections, where he was informed about the exhibition's products in various sectors. His Royal Highness reiterated the government's keenness to offer more facilities and incentives that encourage investors to enter the construction and real estate sector, out of its belief in the key role played by this vital sector in supporting the national economy. He also noted that mega companies' constant desire to participate in the exhibitions is living proof of the success of the Kingdom's policies regarding the consolidation of the exhibitions and conferences industry, which he said has gained the Kingdom international acclaim and enhanced its reputation as a leading regional and international hub for specialised exhibitions and conferences. Chairman of the Board of Al-Hilal Conferences and Exhibitions, Anwar Abdurrahman, expressed sincere thanks, appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for patronising Gulf Bid every year, which he said reflects his support for the private sector and interest in all events that benefit the national economy.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa congratulated His Royal Highness Deputy Crown Prince, Second Deputy Premier and Defence Minister of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, on implementing Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030. His Royal Highness wished the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia success and progress in implementing the vision and wished the country further prosperity under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa received at Gudebia Palace today St. Petersburg's Governor Georgi Poltovchenko and his accompanying delegation in the presence of Southern Governor Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness praised the cooperation level between Bahrain and Russia and highlighted the deep-rooted bilateral relations and the importance of such meetings and visits. He stressed the importance of signing agreements and MOUs that enhance the cooperation and coordination between the two countries in various fields. The meeting involved discussions on security and stability and the importance of strengthening relations between societies in order to face challenges and combat terrorism. His Royal Highness stressed Bahrain's keenness to support all efforts aimed at protecting security and stability and hailed the role of Russia and their contributions in this regard. St. Petersburg's governor expressed appreciation to His Royal Highness and his keenness to enhance bilateral cooperations, stressing his eagerness to strengthen cooperation with Bahrain in different fields. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the SCYS, and President of the Bahrain Olympics Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, praised Saudi Arabia's implementation of Vision 2030. He said the strategy would result in positive outcomes for Saudi Arabia, further progress and prosperity, and would reflect positively on the Gulf and the world, thanks to the country's strong economy. His Highness hailed the efforts of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in supporting the vision and the strategic implementation of it, wishing the country further progress and prosperity. He stressed the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, is always keen to enhance cooperation with Saudi Arabia to benefit both countries and the whole region. His Highness Sheikh Nasser wished Saudi Arabia and His Royal Highness Deputy Crown Prince, Second Deputy Premier and Defence Minister of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, success in implementing Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030. The Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, patronised today the opening of the third edition of the National Occupational Safety and Health Conference organised by the Labour Ministry in collaboration with the Occupational Safety and Health Council. The Deputy Prime Minister affirmed the government's support to all initiatives aimed at developing the legislative and monitoring 
process in the work environment to optimise working conditions and boost the culture of occupational safety and health according to international standards. 300 participants from Bahrain and abroad are taking part in the conference to promote awareness of vocational safety and health and to benefit from other experiences in light of Bahrain's fast-paced growing economy. His Excellency Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and the British Ambassador to Bahrain Simon Martin attended today a joint police music performance at the police fort. The musical performance was conducted by Ministry of Interior Police Band and the British Royal Marines Band and was also attended by Chief of Public Security Major General Tariq Al Hassan and the Commandant of the Police Band Major General Mubarak Al Najm. The performance marked the 200th anniversary of the beginning of the historical ties between Bahrain and the United Kingdom. The Interior Minister applauded the joint performance and their distinguished presence in international festivals and events. He highlighted the deep bilateral relations between the two countries and their dedication to promote security cooperation and coordination for the best of the citizens of the two nations. It is worth mentioning that the band of British Royal Marines participated along with other military bands, including the Ministry of Interior Police Band in the celebration to mark the anniversary of the formation of the Bahrain Defence Force in 2004. Thank you. 